While you don't need to buy a fancy new guitar, you will need to get a slide, and there are a lot to choose from. You'll need to try out a few different diameters, lengths, and materials to see what suits you best. Most acoustic slide guitars place the slide on their pinky, leaving three fingers free for forming chords and fretting single notes without the slide. So if you got it here, you've still got these guys that can make chords and do different things. If you put it on your ring finger, it lets you grip the slide from both sides. And a lot of electric guitar players who aren't so concerned with playing chords hold it this way. If you watch, uh, if you see pictures of Dwayne Allman, that's where he put it. Um, but then you really only have these two fingers for making chords. And when you're playing in an acoustic, uh, when you're playing acoustic slide and you're playing more of an unaccompanied style, it really helps to have all three fingers available for chords. Generally, the heavier the slide, the better the tone with a higher note to buzz ratio. And at the same time, a heavier slide is harder to manipulate. There's more to move around. And if your guitar still has relatively light strings or low action, it's going to take more finesse to keep a heavier slide from bumping into the fretboard. So for instance, I love how this thing sounds. It's brass. And it sounds fantastic. And the metal slide has a little more of a rasp, especially when you're on the low string. Because the metal from the slide is rubbing against the windings from the strings. But it's heavy, and it's a lot you can't really tell without putting it on yourself. But it... Uh, it, it, it's more to move around. But that's one of the two classic uh, materials for slide. Typically most people have used metal or glass and the weight is just part of an equation that also includes what the slide is made out of. So some of the first, first slides were made out of the tops of wine bottles and you can actually still get um, commercially or semi-commercially, you can get slides that are made from wine bottles like this one. You can see where it's been it's been ground down. Um, but this also has a really great tone. It's not as heavy as the, as the metal one, but it's made out of thick glass. And the nuances don't really translate that much when you're listening to someone play. It's more just how it's gonna feel when you're playing it yourself, I think. But so there's things like that, and then there's metal slides made out of all different kinds of materials. The glass tends to have a smoother and rounder sound. The distinction is particularly noticeable on the lower wound strings. So back to the, the bottleneck and the difference on the low strings and the metal one. You still get some rasp from the winding of the strings on the glass one, but it, it feels smoother when you're playing it too. Um, so the thick brass slide um, has the smoothness, but it's kind of heavy. And then there's thin walled glass slides. Not all slides are the same size by any stretch of the imagination. Here's the bottleneck again, and here's a commercial glass slide, which is made really thin. And this is what a lot, a lot of times you just walk into a store and ask for a slide, you'll find something like this, or a thin chrome one. And it can be really frustrating at first because it just, it's hard to get a good sound out of a thin slide. Just, it's not so much that you can't slide with it, it's just that um, the notes don't sustain as much. It's the same thing as with guitars themselves, density equals sustain. So a thin glass slide is just not going to work that great and it's going to be harder to get a really good solid sound out of it. Again, it's different if you're playing electric guitar and you have all the sustain in the world then glass can work really great. So in short, if you've been playing with some sort of thin glass or metal slide, you actually do get to blame your gear. Um, some other possibilities, um, there's ceramic and porcelain slides. That's a more recent development, which I think kind of offers the best of both glass and metal because they're smooth and they're relatively light like glass, but they feel denser and they have a touch and a sustain that's more reminiscent of metal. They are a little on the fragile side, and they chip and they crack easily if you don't take particularly good care of them. And so if you drop things, like I do, or you have a concrete floor, um, just be careful with your ceramic stuff. Here's what a couple of those look like. This is the one I actually uh, I'm going to use in the lessons. And um, there's a few things that are nice about it. This is actually a little longer than I necessarily like to use, but um, it's got this, uh, a lot of people who make ceramic ones, they leave the inside or the edge of it like this um, unglazed and so it's um, a little bit rough and so it makes a good grip for your finger and this is a 
a shorter one made by the same company. And um, in both cases, they're actually, there's enough, these are tight enough. That's another big part of it is the fit. Um, if you like it to be loose or if you like it to be really snug, one way to test if it's snug is if you can turn your hand upside down and it doesn't fall off. Um, but you can do it either way. If it's looser, then it's going to, um, you're going to have to spend more energy holding on to it. Um, so that's just something to think about. It's a real trial and error kind of thing.